everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new then welcome. Hi, I'm Grace and I'm a second year BSc Microbiology student at the University of Leeds. So as you will have seen from the title, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my placement application experience with Disney, or if you want to be more formal, the Walt Disney Company UK and Ireland. <laughs> um, so I think a lot of you are probably surprised that I ended up applying to Disney. I was too, um, given my experience and my degree it's obviously science based um, but I will explain everything in just a moment um, but before that make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe down below we are so close to 400 subscribers so I would really really appreciate if you could subscribe and without further ado let's get into the video applied for with Disney was a research and insights intern so in terms of sort of um, data analysis and taking that research and creating a story with it um, for their customers and consumers so the way that I heard about this role because obviously I would never have thought um, to apply to Disney in a million years just because I didn't think really think about that side of things and the sort of the business side to Disney because everyone just sort of thinks of the theme parks and the dancers and the performers and things like that um, but the way that I heard about this role was through an app called Debut. Um, I don't think it's a particularly well known app, um, but I would definitely recommend downloading it as obviously this is the way I heard about um, the Disney role and a, a couple of other placements do come up on there as well. So if you are looking for a placement, I would recommend uh, downloading that app and having a look through some of the roles that are offered. So basically on Debut, you sort of put in your degree and sort of the placements you're looking for and other aspects. But I was basically uh, messaged by an early careers recruiter from Disney um, on this app debut. Um, and she basically told me about the role and said, looking at experience with data analysis and things like that as part of my science degree, is that um, I would be a good candidate for this role as a research and insights intern. So that's where the connection between my degree and um, the role at Disney. Because of my data analysis experience, um, which you obviously do a lot within science, um, this is a key part to um, the role at Disney. And obviously when they are sort of, they obviously analyse the research and then they need to present this. And obviously given my experiences working as a student engagement intern and through my YouTube channel, I definitely have experience with that as well. So I think that's why I was approached and how I sort of um, fit the requirements for the role. In terms of the application, it was really, really simple. It was just a CV and cover letter, um, which you had to upload to, um, wasn't, you didn't send it by email, you basically had to upload it to a specific sort of Disney um, portal area, which I did. There was no issues there, obviously CV and cover letter, pretty standard. You haven't seen my previous videos on uh, the ultimate guide to CVs and the ultimate guide to cover letters, then be sure to check those out. I'll sort of go through everything that you should include in your CV and cover letter and the way that they should be laid out and things like that. So make sure to go and give those a watch. I will link them in the description down below and in the cards. So I then got an email saying that I had been successful um, with my initial application and I was invited to an assessment day. So this assessment day, um, there was loads of people on the call. I wasn't expecting it at all. Um, so basically, um, although the sort of general role is research and insights intern there's I think there was nine roles um which are all research and insights interns but they have specific um parts of the Disney company so there's a research and insights intern role um for Disney plus there was a research and insights role for ESPN research and insights role for the sort of children kids channels um on Disney channel so there was lots of um they're all similar roles but they were for varying parts of the organization so that's why i think there were so many people on there um so i think there was maybe 30 to 40 uh, candidates so the day basically involved um an introduction to disney so they gave a short presentation and they also showed you one of those sort of like really inspirational videos um talking about disney which sort of gets to you a little bit it makes you a bit emotional they then talked about the nine roles that were available the managers um for these different parts of the companies and for these different um roles basically spoke about what the role involved and what their specific group within the company did basically after they introduced the roles we then had to do um, an attention to detail test and an excel test 
The attention to detail test was um, similar to my radical writing test, which I had to do for cancer research. If you haven't seen my previous video um, talking about my experience um, with my application for Cancer Research UK, then be sure to check that one out. Again, I will link that in the description and in the cards. But basically the attention to detail test was just picking out mistakes um, within a text and data as well. So that one was absolutely fine for me. I found that really easy to be honest. And the Excel test was where the challenge came. I think I probably wasn't the only one. My sort of basic Excel skills are, are pretty decent, I'd like to think anyway. So the first sort of few questions which were more general, sort of like percentage increase and uh, mean, some of, um, that was pretty simple and, and easy. And, and then after that there were some trickier questions, trickier formulas and things I hadn't used before. Overall the, the tests are alright, there was a couple of things in Excel which I think I didn't get but overall I, I think I got most of it. After the test we were then put into smaller breakout groups um, with a couple of interns from Disney and we basically just asked questions and talked to them and um, they were really really lovely as well, really positive. Um, so that was a really good chance to sort of see how they would found the roles. Um, this year and then finally at the end we all came back together and there was sort of more of a general Q&A just asking different questions again so overall I think this assessment day was maybe two hours maybe a bit over um, given the number of questions that were asked so it was quite a, a long period of time I think the the main part of that was obviously the tests um, so you could say that perhaps the, the stuff uh, the extra stuff wasn't as necessary um, so it could have been shortened but overall it was a positive experience and um, all the staff that were on there were really really nice so it wasn't it didn't feel long basically which is always something positive <laughs> So then after the assessment day, I then got another email saying that I'd been successful and I'd been invited to interview. So the interview was only around 20 minutes, I think, because they were interviewing quite a number of candidates. So my interview was with two managers. One was for the sports side um, to Disney. And I think that's because they'd obviously seen from my application that I've participated in a lot of sport. Um, and then the other one was um, the children's channel, like Disney Channel. Um, and I think that's again because of my experience working back as a tutor um, and um, as a sports coach so I've obviously worked with, with children quite a lot and then obviously my experience um, with YouTube which um, is obviously sort of a digital platform that's like TV. Yeah the two guys that were interviewing me were really nice they were a little bit less animated than the interviewers I had from Cancer Research and um, some of the other companies I applied for um, but you know that's fine not everyone's as enthusiastic as I am um, so yeah they were they were pleasant they were nice the interview was pretty chill it's more of just sort of chatting to me getting to know me there are a few specific questions sort of asking about um, the competitors of Disney and things like that um, and overall I thought the interview went pretty well <laughs> I got a phone call two weeks after um, saying that unfortunately I hadn't got the role. However, I'd already received my offer from McCann Health, which obviously I really wanted to accept. Um, and I'm pretty sure I had accepted already, actually. I think when I reflected afterwards, I didn't feel like my heart was completely in it. I think more so because it was Disney, that's what where the excitement lay rather than in the specific role. And I think when I took a step back, I did know that I would definitely have preferred a more sort of science health based role so this, despite it being Disney I knew that this wasn't completely right for me and if I did get the role then it would be good if I didn't get another role if that kind of makes sense um, but yeah when I reflected I sort of felt like it wasn't the one for me I don't just want to act like like every time I'm expecting to not get an offer kind of thing but I did feel like these ones weren't sort of the cancer research one and this role weren't um, ones which are really the best for me um, so that's why I think it was sort of more expected um, so it, I probably sounded like the most positive person to receive a rejection ever because it would have just sort of been really awkward if they'd rang me and said you've got the job and I'd be like uh, that's great and then they'd send me the email and then I because obviously you don't want to say on the phone like oh I've got another role kind of thing um, so it was sort of easier in a way that I didn't get that role because I'd already been, already been offered the other one um, so I was just like yeah no that's absolutely fine no worries thank you for the experience so he probably thought blimey she's she's positive <laughs> um, 
but yeah it was absolutely fine um in terms of the actual feedback he gave over the phone it was that my personality really shone through he could see my confidence um but it was really tricky for them to sort of narrow it down to nine people and as i said on the assessment day there was 30 to 40 of us maybe and i don't know if that was the only assessment day there may have been others as well um so they probably i think they had a lot of candidates from a variety of different universities and degrees so it's completely understandable that they would have probably gone for someone who's doing a, a degree more related to that or with more experience to do with that specific role and um, so it was understandable why why i didn't get it and um, but it was still a positive experience overall <laughs> In terms of the pros and cons, I think I've pretty much covered those to be honest. Um, again, it was a really positive experience. I think in terms of the only cons, it was perhaps having the assessment day and end the interview. I think it, they could have just included the test within the actual interview or just sort of shortened the actual period of time. I know they wanted to sort of give an introduction to Disney and really show off the roles and show off the company as, as many companies would do, but I perhaps don't think that was entirely necessary, but overall it was a really positive experience. So I was really um, lucky again to have a, a positive experience. And I feel that I was definitely um, more prepared and um, definitely had my sort of interview technique and um, my confidence has definitely been boosted having done a lot more interviews and things at this point. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and um, please make sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. We are so close to 400 subscribers so I would really really appreciate it. Um, every single subscriber makes me happy honestly so I, I would love that. Um, yeah make sure to comment down below if you have any questions about Disney, about the role, about placements, anything like that and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Thank you.